Well, Jamie and I moved to Seattle in uh, 2007, and and basically that was a that was a huge change for us because I never lived anywhere else besides the Chicago area, and my paintings kind of changed uh, stylistically. Um, Jade always tried to she was always telling me you know quit putting people like try to go pure abstract like take it take this style as far as you can take it so a lot of those pieces uh, while I was in Seattle had to do with um, the same similar types of themes that I was exploring before our relationship with technology and how it's all around us and we can't see it um, but we can feel it emotionally um, but then it started to take uh, it started to feel more tangible like instead of just painting abstractions swirling around people like um, I got, in the painting I feel loved, uh, it actually becomes a creature uh, reaching out to an abstracted subject. Um, and that became kind of the start of this sort of new phase um, of painting, which eventually led to the stuff I was doing uh, from 2011, 2012, 2013. A lot of these uh, sort of like white pieces that to me, um, the, the series at the time was tentatively called uh, It's a Little Too Quiet, which came from um, a video on YouTube of uh, an, a national broadcast, a morning show, on the morning of September 11th, about an hour before uh, the first plane hits uh, the World Trade Center. Um, there's a weather report, and the gentleman who's doing the weather report says, God, it's such a beautiful day all across the country. It's quiet out there. It's a little too quiet. And then he says, back to you, and he goes, uh, they go back to the, to the, to the main station. Uh, the, obviously, the guy had no clue. None of us did. But what was interesting was, to me, I felt that from January 1st, 2000, after the millennium hit, and nothing happened out of Y2K, from September 10th, 2001, it is as if, like, as a culture, we sort of plateaued. We had just gotten through this major, uh, just for all of us, uh, January 1st, 2000, we, we, made, we made it to the second millennial, and it was fantastic. And, and we all had this sort of feeling of relief, a feeling of what's next. And... We didn't know, and it seemed like uh, on September 11th, uh, it told us what was coming up next. But, but at that at that point, it didn't interest me. What interested me was that sort of feeling, that vibe of anticipation, of an unknown event, of waiting for uh, life, fate, whatever you want to call it, to to coalesce and give you a direction. So a lot of the pieces, whether it be like Ricochet Sherub or Popsicle Toes, a lot of that was emotionally um, tapping into that sort of. You know, for me personally, even um, my brother at the time was awaiting a heart transplant, and you know, um, Jamie's grandmother, who had lived with her her whole life, was sick, and that was kind of her final year. Two thousand and one was a tough year for a lot of people, and for us, it seems so. We had just gotten engaged. My wife and I uh, wasn't my wife yet; she was my fiance. Jamie and I had just gotten engaged, and you know, we had to put it on hold because of all these things that were happening around us. So. Um, for me personally, I really felt like everything was on hold and there's an interesting feeling that you can attach to that. And so a lot of these paintings had to do with that sort of, my life's on hold, I'm waiting to see what's going to happen next. And um, and so a lot of, you can see a lot of synergy, you can see a lot of uh, emotion, uh, you can see a lot of the figures, a lot of movement like sort of coalescing into like uh, uh, like this sort of like collision that's either about to happen or in some of the pieces is actually happening you know you can actually see the you can actually see the asteroid sort of hit whatever it is it's hitting it's a is it a planet is it an asteroid is it an atom i mean to me it's it's i want i want the viewer to kind of figure that part out but um is there a lot of symbolism um of crashing and uh and merging in in this imagery oh definitely and and these were and these were very this was a wonderful series to do because to me it it was cathartic because it had been over a decade since uh, a lot of those events had happened and to look back on it and to realize just um how monumental it was um it was it it just makes for it makes for wonderful art and it's something that I think if you can express it and you can put it into um something that would mean something to someone else who can say, yeah, I, I felt that way too. Maybe in a different time period of their life or whatever, but if it connects in that way that a person cannot uh, describe, that it has to be done visually, that words just aren't going to, uh, aren't going to suffice, then I think you, you did your job. You know, and that's, that's what I always try to do when I'm painting is, is to, like, you know, what can I show that 
words would fail to describe accurately. And I think I think all great art does that in a certain sense. I hope I hope my stuff's all right. Hope hope it gets there someday. Maybe who knows. <laughs>